What's going on guys? Welcome to Gunshot Gaming. I'm Tito Rosado and before we get into today's unboxing, a word from our sponsor. What's that? No! Oh, we don't we don't we don't have a sponsor? Oh no! Oh we've nobody's ever sponsored one of our videos. Oh, no! Cool. cool. Alright, well then let's go ahead and find out. What's in the fucking box? Ah! Wow! Awesome! All right, so today we have the backbone for iPhone. Uh, now this is a controller for your phone, um, actually specifically designed um, for Xbox. They actually have a sponsorship, as you can see, the box shows Xbox Game Pass, as well as a lot of them when you purchase it, it comes with three months of Xbox Game Pass. Um, and so it's here designed for Xbox. So. This is the one to do if you are looking for more of the xCloud gaming. I'm super excited to check it out because recently I've been testing out the Razer Kishi and the right analog stick broke on me only after a couple uses. Like it's already like peeling up. So hopefully the build quality on this is better, um, but let's find out. All right. And if you joined my one of my recent videos, you'll find out that uh, I was opening with my Master Sword and it broke. So now I got this uh, regular knife here to open things up. All right, let's find out. Get that out of the way. Okay, so it's got a thing it says here to open. So let's get inside here. Boom. All right. It says open. Are we going to see anything cool? Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's cool. You can see some of the, I don't know if the writing is picking up very well there, but it says play solo, play with friends, play with your arch nemesis, play with your grandma, play with your boss, play with your neighbor, play with your crush, play with your long lost twin interesting writing there on the box but hey I'm, I'm always down for subtle details so let's put that to the side you can see it has the backbone there on both sides of the box as well as the front so now you guys get to experience it before i do does it look cool because i don't know yet let's find out Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, they uh, nailed it with having some good packaging there. Snap in and game on. All right. So this will be my first time getting to hold one of these, as I've seen people highly recommend these uh, many of times, um, but I waited to get that discount on it. So snap in and game on says here, line up your phone with the Backbone's lightning connector, grab the left handle and extend it, snap your phone in, download the app and play. Um, also note, this does have like a specific app designed for this controller to make it easier to navigate the gaming that you'll be doing on it. So excited to check that out. I'll actually have more info on that when I do a review of this guy. So let's put that to the side. All right, let's take this out before we begin to play with it. Let's see what else we got in the box. So let's see here. Okay, and that's it. And then we have a play safe safety guide. It's gotta be safe while you game. Don't get reckless out there. All right, so done with this. We'll put this to the side as well. And we have the controller itself. All right, so you can see here, looking super clean. We got everything you would need from your analog sticks to your D-pad to your buttons. Ooh, it's nice that they actually kept the regular layout of Xbox. That's one thing that drives me crazy, even on the, the key sheet, it's different. And of course, on, on the Switch, it's super different. Um, but let's see, so with this, does it just, oh, you just pull it. Oh, it's got a nice, like, feel that, like, you can feel it kind of retracting in. So that's a difference compared to, like, the Kishi where it doesn't retract in, but also a difference where this one doesn't fold up as small. This is as small as it gets right here. Um, but first impressions, triggers, pads, feels good really feels good in my hands honestly like the, the feeling of how they have this kind of bowed out a little bit feels a little more comfy that's like the one thing where once i play switch for a long time my hand almost starts to hurt because the joy cons are just too skinny um joysticks are a little small but i wonder if i have the extra um padding to go on my joysticks for my switch i wonder how those would be on here if that would help or not 
Um, but yeah, feels feels good. It'll be interesting to see how responsive it is. Um, the only thing is with this controller, so if you have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, as well as I believe even just the 13 Pro, um, you have to get a special insert. Unfortunately, that insert is sent separately if you order this controller. It does not come in the box. You have to order it separately. You have to let them know that you have that phone because the camera bump doesn't allow it to fit in here seamlessly. So unfortunately, I can't even use this right now with my new phone. I can only use it with like one of my older ones because I need the special insert um, to support the camera bump. But I like the way that that, like it, it pulls it back in like, so your phone, once you put it in there, it's gonna be nice and tight, um, which is what you wanna feel. You wanna feel like it's its own thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this guy. That's what you got in the box. I'm excited to check it out. I'll bring you guys some more information about it, my thoughts and opinions, as well as some comparisons to the Kishi, as those are the two that most people are debating between. As always, appreciate you joining me for this unboxing today. Are you planning on getting a mobile gaming controller for your phone, or do you not care? Let me know down below. Have a great day.